This talk is about Facebook's tectonic file system. Facebook previously used a constellation of specialized storage systems to support different workloads and applications. Tectonic is our current consolidated system that scales to support an entire data center's worth of storage. By moving to Tectonic, we simplified operations and use resources more efficiently without giving up the performance of specialized solutions. Before we dive into the details of Tectonic, let's take a look at two diverse storage use cases at Facebook that I will refer to throughout the presentation. Our blob storage infrastructure is responsible for storing and serving photos and videos shared across Facebook. Blob storage holds trillions of such objects using exabytes of storage space. These objects range in size from several kilobytes to several megabytes. Blob uploads and accesses are latency sensitive as they are on path of users interacting with Facebook applications. On the other hand, our data warehouse infrastructure supports data processing and analytics, which are important to build and deliver products for the users of Facebook. For example, which what stories to show in which order in your newsfeed. Like blob storage, data warehouse also needs to store exabytes of data. However, warehouse objects are larger, typical IO sizes on the order of many megabytes. As data warehouse applications often batch process data, they prioritize throughput over latency. In short, there are several large scale storage use cases at Facebook with diverse requirements. The diversity of these use cases led to them initially being stored by a constellation of specialized systems. Blobs were split across Haystack and F4. Haystack stored hot blobs with higher request rate, but it was not storage efficient. F4 stored warm blobs with lower request rate, but it did not support blob uploads. Data Warehouse used HDFS because it is throughput efficient. However, it is not suitable for small IO, this is which is why it cannot be used for blob storage. In short, none of the existing systems were generic enough to handle all the diverse use cases. In addition, single instance of HDFS can only store tens of petabytes of data due to its single name node based design. As a result, each data center had to use multiple HDFS instances to serve data warehouse. One implication of this is resources are fragmented between these instances. For example, the surplus, surplus IOPS from instance 4 cannot be used by instance 3. And the free, free storage from instance 3 cannot be used by instance 4. Similar fragmentation also occurs between the storage systems. For instance, Haystack system had to be over-provisioned to handle peak IOPS of hot blobs, but it cannot use the spare IOPS that were stranded in the F4 system. In short, isolated systems resulted in poor resource utilization. Finally, multiple systems tailored to different workloads are complex to maintain and operate. For example, common functionalities like data scanning, security, capacity management had to be duplicated. Tectonic is our current distributed file system that has replaced the previous constellation of systems. Single Tectonic cluster spans an entire data center and provides storage for many use cases like blob storage and data warehouse. This consolidation has reduced operational complexity as we need to reason about only a single storage system which is generic enough to handle all the use cases. Data center wide clusters also promotes better resource utilization by avoiding stranding resources in smaller clusters. For instance, with a fully shared cluster, no over-provisioning is needed to handle peak IOPS for popular blobs. Moreover, spare IOPS from blob storage can be used to handle the peak IOPS of data warehouse. In building Tectonic, we face three major challenges. First, how to handle the storage needs of an entire data center. Second, how to isolate the tenants from each other while enabling them to utilize spare resources. Third, how to match the performance of this more general system to the performance of previous specialized systems. In this presentation, we will cover the challenges of scalability and performance. This slide explains how Tectonic architecture scales to exabytes. At the core of Tectonic, there is a set of independent storage nodes. Tectonic files are split into blocks. To provide durability, blocks are further split and read Solomon encoded into chunks. Chunks are stored as files on the hard drives of the storage nodes. Our default chunk size is 8 MB, which means size of RS10 for encoded block is 80 MB. Capacity of the chunk store scales linearly with the number of storage nodes. On top of chunk store, there is metadata store. 
it is built on a linearizable scalable key value store in contrast to systems like hdfs that store metadata on a single node tectonic disaggregates metadata into multiple hash sharded layers for example for the directory tree on the left name layer stores the directory to list of subdirectories and directory to list of files file layer stores the file to list of blocks and block layer stores the block to list of chunks we can scale the metadata store by adding more machines that can host more shards finally the background services talk to metadata and chunk store to maintain fault tolerance together these components allow us to achieve exabyte scale clusters that handle the storage needs for the entire data center tectonic is a client library driven microservice based system the client the client library of tectonic runs inside the application accessing tectonic unlike hdfs tectonic chunk and metadata store do not communicate with each other even for control messages similarly different metadata layers also do not communicate between them the client library orchestrates the file system logic by interacting with the different metadata layers and the chunk store the, this lack of interdependence between the components help them scale independently we will step through a read operation to see how the client library composes the operations first the client library gets the file id from the file path from name layer then it batches the block list of the file from file layer then it fetches the location of chunks of those blocks then reads the data from the storage nodes holding those chunks and finally return the data to the caller similarly on the right path to add a block in a file first client library gets the list of storage nodes from block layer then it stores the chunks of the block to those storage nodes then it saves the final chunk locations back to the block layer then it adds the block to the adds, adds the block to the block list in the file layer and finally returns success to caller this client library driven orchestration help tect helps tectonic to change how applications interact with tectonic in runtime based on the access pattern one particular challenge for moving from specialized systems to a general system like tectonic is performance specialized storage systems were optimized for their specific access pattern for example hdfs optimizes for throughput but not good at low latency small appends tectonic uses tenant specific optimization to solve this problem tectonic client library which runs in application binary enables different applications to configure tectonic according to their usage pattern how differently blob storage and data warehouse handle appends is a good example of tenant specific optimization warehouse files are typically hundreds of mbs in size all the reads to warehouse files happen after the creator closes the file tectonic minimizes the bytes written to upload a file to improve the overall throughput warehouse appends are buffered in client library till we get a full block client library then rs encodes the block in memory and writes the chunks to storage node on file close read after write consistency is attained by flushing any pending buffer data directly storing rs encoded blocks reduces the bytes transferred to store the file compared to data warehouse blob storage has an entirely different access pattern blobs are small in size as a result blobs are appended to log structured files on upload blobs need to be persisted before acknowledging the upload in other words they need immediate read after write consistency for blob storage we minimize the latency of individual blob uploads and later optimize for storage small blobs are translated to partial block appends the triple replicated partial block appends provide immediate read after write consistency while minimizing the blob upload latency to save space once the partial block is full the client library reads the data reads the data from replicated block and then rs encodes it to achieve low latency blob uploads blob storage consumes more disk iops as blobs are first written written to to achieve low latency blob uploads blob storage consumes more disk iops as blobs are first written to triple replicated and then rs encoded as full block this type of tenant specific optimizations help tectonic match performance of specialized systems without losing its generality the paper includes several results from our production clusters in this talk we show the io efficiency improvement from a shared cluster this chart shows disk iops over 3 days in a cluster shared between data warehouse and blob storage 
the x axis is time and the y axis is thousands of ios per second in this cluster both the tenants have almost equal space so we can compare their relative io temperature the first red line shows the io load from blob storage we can see it is reasonably consistent and while it is not obvious from the chart it also have excess io available in other words if the same blob storage bytes were stored in a disjoint cluster that cluster would have surplus io the second green line shows the io load from the data warehouse warehouse load has relatively warehouse load has relatively higher io temperature and it includes several large peaks these peaks need more io than what would be available in a data warehouse only system tectonic serves these peaks using the surplus io available from blob storage in short multi tenant data center wide clusters unlock resource efficiency by using the resources which would have been otherwise stranded in disjoint systems in conclusion tectonic is facebook's data center scale storage system replacing our previous constellation of specialized systems with tectonic provided two important benefits first we have simpler operations from managing a single system second we have better resource utilization by sharing re resources across all the use cases within the data center This talk briefly covered some of the challenges we overcame in building Tectonic. To learn about the other challenges, our design and our lessons from building and deploying Tectonic, please read our paper which covers them in depth.